Here's your WNEM TV5 news update. Good evening, everyone. I'm Meg McLeod. Here's a look at some of our top stories tonight. Saginaw police say they discovered a body in the Saginaw River this afternoon. TV5 cameras spotted first responders at the scene just behind the Temple Theater in downtown Saginaw. Some men walking along the river spotted the person face down in the water. Investigators say because the body had been in the water for an extended period of time, it's still too early to tell age, sex or race. The body will be transported to the morgue for an autopsy to determine the cause of death. Investigators say they cannot yet determine how long the body has been in the river, but because of recent weather conditions, the body could have come from anywhere upriver, even as far as Wixom or Sanford. Investigators are revealing a toddler whose body was found in a ditch last summer had meth in his system. The 16 month old's body was discovered on August 25th in Genesee County's Montrose Township on North Moorish Road. The boy's father, Michael Butler of Mount Morris Township, has since been charged with felony murder, child abuse, concealing the death of an individual, and aggravated domestic violence. His next scheduled hearing is set for February 9th. Alma police are asking for help identifying an accused handbag thief. Investigators say the male suspect approached a woman in the area of West End Street and Garfield Avenue around five yesterday. They say the woman did attempt to walk away, but the man grabbed her bag, pulled her to the ground and ran off. He was last seen running east on Orchard Street. Police described the suspect as a medium build with strawberry blonde wavy hair and in his mid 20s. If you know anything, you are urged to contact Alma police. And now here's Chris with your forecast. Meg, as we go through tonight, expect a small chance for a few showers to work their way out of our system before finally we dry out for the weekend. Does appear we'll have a chance for some sun this weekend too. Your hour by hour forecast shows that clouds will hang tough through the first half of the night, but then once we get closer to tomorrow morning, we will start to see them break up a bit and eventually some sun will poke through. Low temperatures will fall to the 20s tonight, so just be careful with any slick areas that may develop in spots that are a little bit soggy from the last couple of days. I wouldn't expect widespread issues, but for those who are still seeing showers at this point, you may have to keep an eye out for bridges, overpasses and things like that going into tomorrow morning, but otherwise things look pretty good Saturday and Sunday. The showers will come to an end overnight and then by tomorrow morning you start to see the sun break through. There will be some stubborn clouds that we will uh, need to get rid of as we go through tomorrow, so it's not going to be a completely sunny day, but they will have a tendency to allow more sunshine to poke through than they have the last couple of days, and I think more of the same is expected on Sunday. High temperature Saturday, low to mid 30s, so a little bit cooler than we've been the last couple of days. Not dramatically so, but at least a few degrees. Holt Lake might only be stuck in the 20s tomorrow, so definitely cooler there. Long term temperature outlook through mid January shows a better chance for above average temperature, so really tough to get snow anytime soon. Doesn't mean we can't, but there will likely be the possibility of at least some mix coming into the picture with any of our snow chances, and it appears that's the case going into late next week. So we'll keep an eye on that. Still a long way to go, uh, but right now definitely looks warmer through the middle of the month. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24-7 for the latest news, weather, and information.